Hey, this is Daniel Turderman. This is CNET Road Trip 2009. I'm here with uh, Corey Lowe from the Rocky Mountain Institute. And uh, Corey, why don't you tell me a little bit about Rocky Mountain Institute and the, the three main areas that, uh, that you guys work on? Sure. Rocky Mountain Institute was founded back in 1982, and since then we've been working in three key areas, uh, transportation, buildings, and the energy uh, sector. In uh, the building sector, we do consulting work mainly for building owners. We just announced a big retrofit of the Empire State Building. Uh, we've worked with chip chip fabricators and chip manufacturing plants, so large industrial buildings, we help uh, those clients design more efficient buildings. Uh, on the transportation side, we're doing a lot of work at the moment with plug-in vehicles, helping cities get ready for uh, plug-in vehicles, helping utilities understand what that's going to mean to their energy production. We also do work on the energy utility side, mainly with utilities to introduce more renewable energy into their portfolios, help them work with their customers to uh, implement better demand side. Uh, practices. So those three sectors uh, combine the majority of our mind's work. Okay, and, and we're here at uh, Amory Levin's uh, house. This is the original headquarters of, of RMI, right? And uh, you were talking a little bit about the, the streams in here uh, providing some white noise uh, in the building because it's so quiet. But why don't you talk a little bit about the, the, the thermal mass and you know what that's what the streams are part of and the, and the, the tree and everything. Sure. This building was completed in 1982 and was RMI's original headquarters building. Uh, we've since expanded and we have two other office locations, but this does still sort of serve as our example of good, efficient practices. The way this building works, basically, is that there's no heating system. There's no furnace, there's no duct work, there's no heating system in the traditional sense. So the way that we provide heat to the building in order to not uh, freeze in the winter, you know, we live here in the high Colorado Rockies, we do get cold, snowy winters. The way that we avoid freezing in the winter is by accumulating thermal mass here in the greenhouse throughout the summer. The heat comes in, and the heat and the light comes in through all, uh, all this southern exposure through these windows, and then thermal mass builds up in all the materials that we have here in the greenhouse. There's cement, there's dirt around the plants, there's uh, water running through the pools, as you can hear and see. All these materials accumulate a lot of thermal mass throughout the summer, and then come wintertime when the air temperature outside is much colder, these materials re-radiate that heat to keep our building in a nice steady temperature throughout the winter. And it really does work quite effectively. We stay at a nice steady temperature year-round without a traditional uh, heating system of furnace and ductwork. Right, and you said it's, uh, it's, it's capable of, or the building is capable of growing bananas, right? Here. The, the building is indeed capable of growing bananas. There they are. Here we are at just shy of 8,000 feet in the Colorado Rockies, and we have bananas uh, sprouting. We've had 28 crops of bananas in this building over the years that we've been here. Amazing. Great. Thank you very much. Cool.